Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that I will be posting a video a week in this series on my YouTube channel. But if you would like early access to these videos, you can support me on Patreon. And not only will you get early access, you will also get the Unity packages for each video. That way, if you're following along and I messed something up in the tutorial, and forgot to cover something, you can just download the Unity package and import it into your project and we'll be on the same page. Not only that, but if you would like like to go ahead and purchase the end product of this series you can do so in my shop for ten dollars at the moment is striker studio arcade soccer kit for unity i will put a link in the description i plan on doing a lot more with this that we will not be making a tutorial over this is a asset i plan on updating consistently and adding a lot more features you can read about it here i'll put a link in the description as i add more features the price will increase but you will get all the features in the future if you decide to purchase it now so with that out of the way let's get started so this is the end result of what this tutorial series is going to cover. It covers setting up the basics for a soccer game, which is gaining possession of the ball, shooting the ball, scoring goals, resetting the ball, passing the ball, switching players. We will not be covering the AI or the goalie AI just because it's just too complex and it would just take so much time to make a good tutorial over that. If that is something you're interested in, I would just recommend purchasing that on my Patreon shop. At the time of recording, it is $10, which I feel like is a steal because the price will increase in the future as I add more features. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's get started for real. So today we are starting a project I hope many of you will be excited about where we create a soccer game in Unity. We're going to try to make it good. Not going to be a complete game. It's not going to be a fully finished game that we try to get published or anything, but it will be a great start for anyone who does want to do such a thing. Hopefully continue wherever we leave off on this project. But we're going to give it our best shot. So yeah, let's get started. Before I get started though, I wanna go ahead and go find some assets that we can use. Cause I, I don't wanna just use boring primitive objects while we're prototyping and developing the game. First thing I want is a soccer field. I'm gonna call it soccer for this, uh, just because that's the way I refer to it. That's just where I'm from. I know it's actually football, but it is what it is. Anyways, yeah, we're looking for a soccer field, a free one. This looks pretty good. It's already got the goals on it, too. Oh, I really like this. But, mm, $4. No, I want to keep it free, so I like this. I like how it's cartoony, simple, um, and we can just get our own goals. I'm going to go and download it, and it says it's already ready for Unity. Yeah, let's download it, the FBX zip file. So let's unzip it, drag it into our project. And before we get started, I'm going to make an assets folder. Inside an assets folder, I know it's silly. Or how about, let's call it art. I like assets better. Or actually, let's do this. I'm gonna create one called Duck Hive, and then a folder called assets in here. Then we will drag in our football field folder into the project. All right, we've got our field. Let's look for a goal, a free goal. I like that soccer ball. And I like this right here. I also like that and that. Dang, look at this soccer stadium. This looks really good, but it's $15 and we are broke. Microsoft soccer goal. Kind of like it, honestly. Why do I like this? It's so simple. It's insulting, but I love it. I don't know why. Oh, uh, we're going to, yeah, we're going to go with this. Oh, I don't know. Will STL work? I'm just curious if it'll work. Unity. Well, I can put it in Blender. Drag this folder in here in our assets folder. Yeah, that's not going to work. Go ahead and delete that. But we are going to go to Blender because I don't know why I like this goal, but I do. Um, Just delete all this garbage. It's all garbage. You're going to import an STL. I think STL is like for 3D printing. It'll work for what we are doing. Nice. Then we can export FBX desktop soccer. Call it simple soccer goal. Export it. All right. Now we need to go back to Unity. Saved it on our desktop. Called it simple soccer goal. 
soccer gold. Just keep everything tidy. It's worth it in the long run. Make sure this worked. It worked. All right. We're going to delete that. Come back to it later. Now we need a ball. Honestly, like this. But let's let's look. Might be something better. I like the uh, this Adidas. Uh, I don't think we can download it. This looks pretty good. Object. I think that will import directly into Unity. Ah, I knew it. I knew there was going to be a freaking zip inside a zip. Nice. It's ready to go. It is ready to go. I will link all the all that stuff in the description so you can get these assets for free. Let's get them. Let's get all the assets in our world and let's get our scene set up. I don't know why I'm going to delete the ball, but I am. So I want to do the field first. Let's make a capsule and call this player. Or let's call it character and let's unpack this field. Rename it to football field. Let's create an environment folder, so an empty game object. Environment. Let's make sure, yep, we are centered. Good to go. And then grab our character. All right, so we can tell our field needs to be bigger because that's going to be roughly the size of the player. We want to, we don't really want to shrink our player way down to the field, although it'd work. It's just, it's just simpler and easier to keep our player because we're going to be working with our player a lot more than we're going to be working with the field. Really, we just got to set the size of the field once. If we do our player, it's going to mess with other stuff later down the road and it's just going to be messier. Anyways, so yeah, let's grab our field, press R to scale. All right, so I scaled it up five units and let me make sure I got my character is zeroed out on the position. Football field, not quite zero. Uh, what was that? It was minus three point. Let's try seven five. Yeah, let's do that. And it looks like we need to bring it over just a hair. We want it to be, we want the center of the field to be dead zero. So that looks pretty good. Let's uh, get our goals, our beautiful goals. Uh, so yeah, unpack it completely. All right, not sure what keeps happening to my footage. Uh, I keep trying to record and it for some reason keeps bugging out, but I think I got it fixed now. Uh, so yes, I lost some footage. All that I've done though is just adjusted the goals to fit and what i did was i made a made a soccer goal base prefab that both of these goals derive from they're both prefab variants that way the reason we did that is so if we need to edit both of the goals if we need to add like a collider or something we can just update the base soccer goal and that will update both the goals but if there's some specific logic for the home goal that we want to apply and we would just go into the prefab variant. Uh, it may seem like overkill to do all that and unnecessary, especially since these are just soccer goals that are just going to be sitting there and not doing anything. But we want to get in a habit of one, creating prefabs and two, creating prefab variants whenever it's necessary, as that is a good habit to get into and it will just make your life a lot easier down the road. So anyways, all that I've done is just position the goals if we open the base goal, you can see here's the transform properties. Uh, if you want to make your goal the same size as mine, here is the position and rotation of the away goal. And here's the position and the rotation of the home goal. I also I added a mesh collider on it and I've added a box collider on the soccer field and I've added a sphere collider on the soccer ball and the character already had a collider since we did a capsule. That should be it that got messed up with my recording. Yeah, what we want to do now for our environment is we don't want to have an out of bounds. We we want to block the ball or we want to put some kind of wall either visible or invisible up so the uh, so the ball cannot go out of bounds because i don't really want to make a game where there is an out of bounds i i want the ball to always stay in bounds and i always want there to be action going on so that's what we're going to do so we are just going to make first an empty game object inside our environment and just call it walls now we're going to create create a 3d object cube and we're going to get in our overhead view so we can see this better and we're going to do orthographic view to do orthographic you just click on this little square on this gizmo right here and i'll take you in and out of or orthographic we want to go right outside the white line and get down so it's touching the ground and we want to go way up with it i guess we 
didn't really want it to touch the ground. Uh, we're also going to name this walls roof visible. This is going to be all this wall. Bring it up. We want it to be very large in case the ball gets launched way up in the air. And scale it this way. Go to the overhead view. It should be good. So now we want to duplicate this wall and we want to bring it over here. Oh, another thing we want to do is we want to turn cast shadows off for the wall uh so select both of them and cast shadows off all right select this wall duplicate it we're going to rotate it 90 degrees on the y-axis and we're going to bring it about right there and we're going to scale it down want to go to the side of the goal right on the white line this one is not on the white line it's a little bit off all right now duplicate this bring it to the left side of the goal now duplicate both the last two that we have made and bring it on over here. Now we need a wall to go over the goal. Duplicate this one bring it in the center, bring it up, get a, a good side view down some, but it really doesn't matter. Duplicate that, go to our top view, line it up with this and it should with the other walls and it should pretty good. Now our first wall, duplicate it and we want to rotate it 90 degrees on the z-axis i think yeah bring it over here get a top view be about the same size as our field and bring it up and we have our walls now all we have to do is make them invisible and all we got to do for that is either disable or delete the mesh renderer for the walls i'm just going to delete them all right, there's our walls slash roof invisible. And yeah, we should be set up. Uh, we should be ready to actually start making our game. Uh, there is one more thing I want to do to spice things up a little bit, uh, just to make it look better. And that's the background. Uh, so I've actually made a shader for the skybox that we're going to use. Uh, I'll put this on my Patreon for free. I'll put a link in the description to it, uh, but it's pretty simple. Um, I've got a package somewhere. Let me find it. I'm just going to drag the package into the project. Just a simple skybox shader. Uh, but we do need to make a material, create a folder called skybox materials, create a material in here and just call it polka dot skybox under shader. Click the drop down, then do custom procedural polka dot skybox. Yeah, now I'll just drag it in here. Might be a little distracting. You can turn the animation down or off and the pattern scale. And this is obviously not necessary. So don't feel like you got to do this. Just my OCD kicking in. Want everything to be nice and pretty for our project. All right, one thing that I meant to do was to also make a material for the player. So we are going to make a the material. We're not going to make a folder for it. We're just going to make a material and call this player or let's do character home and let's duplicate it and call it character away. Home will be red and the away will be blue and we're just going to go ahead and assign that to our capsule so he is red that's all i wanted to do that's it that's what we're going to end it on in the next video we will be doing the character controller so we'll start making our character move around the scene and yeah that's what we'll be doing and i will see you guys in the next one